Welcome to another eAcademy episode dedicated to the VersaPlus control panel. In this installment, we will discuss how SMS control works in the VersaPlus. With this functionality, you can arm, disarm the system in different modes, clear alarms, trigger panic alarms, and of course, control the outputs. We will also discuss the sending of USSD network codes, which is one of the topics most frequently raised by the installers in the questions to our technical department. What do we need in this episode? To demonstrate the SMS control capability available in the Versa Plus panel, we will use the set configured in the previous episode, including the Versa Plus control panel with transformer and battery, as well as the INT TSG touchscreen keypad. We will also use the SOW-300 beacon to present how an output can be enabled, and also a PC computer running the Windows operating system. The Deload X program, which you can download free of charge from our website, mini USB cable, SIM card, and a phone that will be used to send SMS messages. Now we can proceed to configure the SMS control. As the control panel is already running in service mode, let's set up a connection with the computer. Start the DLoadX program. Connect the control panel to the computer via a mini USB cable. Accept the USB connection message and read data from the panel. We continue the configuration based on the control panel programmed in the previous episode. So, all the modules on the board are already identified and the SIM card is inserted into the SIM holder. In the Structure slash Hardware tab, select the Versa ETH module and go to the GSM tab. The PIN numbers and SMS center numbers are already entered in the SIM card configuration window. Go to the Receiving Connections window, which shows a list of phone numbers authorized for SMS control. In the positions T1 to T8, the program displays a list of phone numbers for messaging. How they should be programmed was shown in the previous installment. Since we programmed only one number as T1, then only this one will appear in the list. If there are numbers to which you do not want to send any telephone notifications and which you want to be used for SMS notification, enter them in the fields 1 to 8. But that's not all yet. To make SMS control possible, a user should be assigned to each number. In position 1, the first user will be assigned, and in the position T1, the 30th user, which is the default user in the Versa control panels. We have already entered the phone numbers and the users, so let's go to the SMS control, where the content of control SMSs will be defined. We will show you how to use text messages to arm, disarm a petition and enable an output. So take these steps in turn. To arm the petition, enter arm and assign it the appropriate function in the next column. Right click the mouse to open the list of available functions and select arming petition 1 full arm. For disarming, enter disarm and as in the case of arming, assign it to the appropriate function. And to enable the output, enter light and assign it a proper function in the same way. In this case, we want to enable the first output which will turn on the beacon. For the output control, remember that the zone type must be programmed as controlled. Save all the settings to the control panel. OK, let's now see how it works in practice. Enter on your phone the content of the first arming SMS and send it to the GSM module number of the control panel. After receiving the SMS, the control panel will arm the system. Now type on your phone a disarm text message and send it to the control panel. The system is disarmed, which can be seen on the keypad. The last SMS will be used to enable the output. 
Create an SMS with light content and send it to the panel. After a while, the beacon turns on. Now we will present the use of the USS decodes, which are very helpful and provide a simple way to check the account parameters. The content of USS decodes can be found on the website of your provider. In the Deload X program, the GSM module configuration window, go to the Sending USSD Network Codes tab and enter the control command. We enter the account command and save the data to the control panel. Create a new SMS on the phone, enter account and next in one sequence the operator's USSD code and send it. The thus created SMS will enable you to check the account balance on the card. In reply, you receive an SMS with your account balance and expiry date. In the same way, you can get other information, including the status of the packages, number of unused SMS messages, change the tariff plan, etc. Of course, the number of available options depends on the operator. And that's all we wanted to tell you about SMS control in this installment. In the next eAcademy episode, we will discuss creating users in the VersaPlus control panel. We will show you how to add new users and manage their privileges by using the DeloadX program and also by using the keypad. For more detailed information on the topic discussed in today's episode, please follow the link under the video. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next episodes of the eAcademy. See you there.